Let's say you're playing live on stage, you're improvising and suddenly you're blank. You might tell yourself later that, oh, I wish I knew more licks, I wish I transcribed more, I wish I knew more melodies, I wish I knew more scales, chord arpeggios, etc. There is an easier way and the easier way is to work on your rhythmic vocabulary. Any melody, any riff, any lick, etc. is simply nothing without rhythm. So we're going to take a very typical chord progression. A major, G major, D and E. So very typical rock, rock and roll chord progression. We're going to focus around the notes of A major 7th, A dominant 7th, D major 9th and your um, E dominant 7th as well or just E major for that matter. So we have for A major 7th. A dominant for D and then finally for the E chord. So what we're going to do is for the first three bars we'll take one quarter note triplet over beats one and two and then we're going to have a combination of an eighth note and two sixteen notes beam together on beat three and then finally a quarter note on beat 4. So this particular rhythm is being repeated thrice, so for 3 bars. And on the 4th bar what we are going to do is we will have another quarter note triplet on beats 1 and 2 and then a quarter note on beat 3. Together the whole thing is going to sound like 1, 2, 3, 4. Ta ki ta 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 ka ta ta ki ta 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 ka ta ta ki Ta, ta, ka, ta, ta, ki, ta, ta, four. So another way of counting that would be triple let three and a four, triple let three and a four, triple let three and a four, triple let three. So let's try applying that now. So one, two, three, four. We can even try bending some of the notes like ta ki ta 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 ka ta ta ki ta 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 ka ta ta ki ta 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 ka ta ta ki ta ta. So as you can see, that's a pretty easy way of coming up with more ideas, right? So number one, think of a rhythmic idea. Number two, choose notes from the chords, right? Uh, in the sense, like choose notes that outline the chords that you are trying to play over. Three, put them together. If you want to take online lessons with me, you can message me on my website, you can email me or you can even message me on WhatsApp or call me. My details are in the description below. You will also find my details on the website. Consider subscribing to my blogs as well. They are completely free. I put out two blogs every week on Mondays and Fridays and they're all related to music education. So I hope you found this useful and I'll see you next week with another lesson.